there's a certain way to derive the volume formula for a cone which is very quick and easy you can use calculus and there's geometry involved in it but you don't have to worry about functions and equations rotations around x or y axis none of that it's still a calculus procedure but it's very quick and easy and i'll share that with you here in this video thank you for joining me i'm mr ish you're looking here at a three-dimensional cone with a certain radius and a height that right triangle you see pluck it out it's a two-dimensional representation Make a little line over here. This can represent a certain dimension S, which can also indicate your radius. And it's X units away from the top. You have a complete height, a reduced height. You have a complete radius and a reduced radius. Solve for S. X over S is equal to H over R. S is equal to X R over H. This represents the radius of this cone at any point between a lower limit and an upper limit. And all your slices are obviously circles, pi r square. You're looking here at pi s square, which would be pi x square, r square, or h square, because I'm squaring all of that. You're going to have a pi x square, r square, or h square, which will now integrate from a lower limit 0 to an upper limit h. Volume with respect to x is going to be 0 to h. Push the pi out. You will integrate x square, r square, or h square dx. You have pi r square over h square pushed outside. The antiderivative of x square would be x cube over 3, h and 0. Plug the h in, pi r square h cube over 3 h square. Simplify this and you'll have 1 over 3 pi r squared h, which is the volume formula of a cone. And there was no rotation involved, no function, no line, none of that. Easy, simple geometric procedure which relies on calculus to complete it essentially integrating an area of a slice represented by means of this ratio from a lower limit to an upper limit thank you for watching